Hi, I'm Bobby Ferdosi. I'm one of the flight directors on the Mars Science Lab Curiosity mission. And we're standing here inside of the cruise mission support area where we operated Curiosity from launch until landing. So Curiosity is a lot bigger than some of the rovers we send in the past. In fact, it's almost the size of like a car, like the Mini Cooper. And you can see the wheel here, just for example. There's the scaled down model. One of the reasons it has to be so big is because we're carrying just a lot more science than we used to. Uh, the, the, Mars, the previous Mars rovers carried about 5 kilograms, or about uh, 12 pounds. And this is carrying about 80 kilograms, or 180 pounds or so. And I think uh, one of the cool things that you'll see is we'll, we'll get to get to some of these more rocky, mountainous areas and be able to do all kinds of exciting science. Curiosity has a lot of scientific instruments on it and a lot of tools that are also on the rover to help us do the science. Uh, one of the first things you notice is Curiosity has a mast. It's like its head. Uh, on the mast, there's one big instrument at the top with a big eye that shoots a laser out at rocks, creates sparks on the rocks, and we measure the color of those sparks to tell what the rocks and soils are made out of. Just below that big eye, there's a whole other set of cameras. These are our science cameras that help us navigate our way around Mars and figure out what the landscape is telling us. Another set of tools is located on a big seven-foot robotic arm. We can extend the arm out and put a whole bunch of tools on the surface, including what we call a hand lens imager, like you were looking at rocks with a magnifying glass. We have a drill that can jackhammer into rocks. This is the first time we're ever doing this on another planet. We're gonna jackhammer into rocks and then take the powder that we create and feed them to the rover. Inside the front of the rover are two analytical laboratories. We open up some lids, we dump the powder in, and we analyze exactly what the rocks and soils are made out of on Mars, as well as what minerals are present. And the minerals are what tell us what the environmental conditions were like in early Mars. We have some sensors that just measure the environment around the rover. Uh, for example, we have a weather station. We're gonna figure out what the temperatures are, the humidity, the pressure, all the things you look in your daily weather report on Earth. Uh, we also measure the radiation. Radiation is something that's harmful to astronauts. So one day when we send ast astronauts to Mars, we want to figure out what radiation levels they have to survive. So Curiosity is looking ahead to that time and is going to measure that radiation for us. This is a wonderful rover with so many different experiments that we're going to do during its mission. For more information about Curiosity, check out nasa.gov mars.